let us see how to download and install Microsoft Report Builder. Before downloading and installing it, let us understand what is Report Builder. This is a tool for authoring paginated reports for business users who prefer to work in a standalone environment instead of a report designer in Visual Studio. So a report builder, with report builder, you can create multiple reports. You can create various reports and you can uh, create a table or a matrix or a chart wizard. You can use a map wizard. You can use various parts of report with that. Okay. So that is what basically a report builder so let us see how to download and install it you have two ways to install report builder one is through the microsoft website so here you can see this is the report builder web page okay like where to download it here you can see this is what other um, download uh, download site so before proceeding you can see the details so what is a version of that and what when it is published that is the recent version and uh, what is the file name and what is the size of the file okay so here you can read completely about the report builder and what is the basic system requirement so your system uh, uh, so it supports only windows okay so windows what are the versions it supports and uh, what you need okay this component also requires microsoft.net framework 4.6 and it will take 80 MB of available hard disk and 512 MB of RAM. Okay. And you can see the install instructions here and also additional information if you wanted to know about it. So you can download it here. The second way of doing it is what downloading it from the Microsoft Store. So you can simply type report builder here. So you can see... Uh, it's a power bi report builder you can see that the report builder is available here so you can download it, it in either way of course if you download it through the microsoft um, uh, that is a play store through the microsoft store then definitely it will be automatically updated you don't want to specifically go and update everything so here you can see the additional information out here so I'm going to show you how to download and install it uh, with the M um, that is uh, with SN uh, executable file. Okay, so let us see how to do that. Okay, uh, so this is the page you can just see the uh, this website so i can also share it with you so first uh, we can understand what is msi okay msi is the microsoft software installer okay if it is exe this is executable executable file but here we are just talking about msi which is microsoft software installer so once if you click download it will um, it will automatically ask you to download in a specific uh, specific folder. You can select the folder whichever you want. Okay. So you can select the folder and click save. So I have already a report builder which I have downloaded. So I am just saving it as report builder 1. And you can just start download and you can open the folder. You can see that this is there. So usually I used to install it in this way. Right click and install because sometimes it will ask you to install as an admin. Or else you can double click here which will start installing. Okay, just click next and you have to press I accept the terms in the license agreement. Click next. So by default it will, uh, uh, it will take up the space in C colon if you want to change it you can just change that to some other uh, uh, some other folder probably if you want it you can just change it okay so i'm just going to store it in d and uh, here i can create a new one okay and i'm just going to name it as report builder and so you can select the uh, report builder and click ok and you can see what is the disk cost what is or how many spaces you have okay here and once if you select that you can click next 
and if you wanted to select any target server url you can select it probably this will be provided to you by your organization itself if you have any server like sql server sql server or some other server name so this is a sharepoint integrated mode your report server uh, native mode so whatever that you can use it if you don't have don't worry just click next okay click install to start your installation click install it will start installing okay so now you can see that report builder this will install very soon because it is taking of course some few mb so you don't want to wait for a longer period so once it is installed you can click finish and if you want to see whether your report builder has been successfully installed you can go here and check repot and you can find that the report builder has been installed successfully so you can simply open to launch the report builder so in the upcoming videos we can learn how to use the report builder how to import the data in the report builder in the various ways how to design a report uh, like effective reports how to design an effective report we will be looking at all these things in the upcoming videos thank you take care